Guess who's back? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is a collective haul. The time I've had off of YouTube has resulted in me um, collecting a lot of pieces over the last few months. We have a backlog of things I need to show you guys. I definitely can applaud myself and commend myself on picking up some really good pieces recently. Like your girl has been intentionally shopping, your girl has kind of slightly changed her style a bit or elevated it should I say. So yeah you guys, I think you guys are gonna enjoy this one, I can't lie. Um, you're gonna wanna also wait till the end because I have a very special piece that is out of this world, phenomenal, stunning, iconic. Like, I can't believe I own it. I can't believe I possess it. And um, it's probably one of the best purchases I've made in the last two years. And I'm just so obsessed with it, guys. And I just think you need to wait to the end to see it because it's absolutely insane. Okay, let's, let's continue. So the first piece is actually the top I'm wearing. I got this very cute top from Garni. I don't wanna show you guys too much because I'm not wearing a bra. And I feel like you should be tripping these days. <laughs> um, a lot of people are getting like banned for like the most like ridiculous things. But yeah, I got this Garnier top. It's a t-shirt, quite fitted. I love this um, really fun version of the Garnier logo. Um, if you know the Garnier logo, it's quite like standard, basic. Um, but this is like a nice graphic version of it. And, I originally got it for a trip to Turkey with my mum. Um, I took her to Turkey for her birthday this year. And I just wanted some really fun t-shirts to go with like my very casual look. Shout out Garni for doing really fun, casual um, pieces. <sighs> right up my street, right up my alley. Now, the next shirt I'm gonna show you guys is a good one. But I got the t-shirt version of the J'adore Dior um, t-shirts. And can I just say, I'm freaking obsessed. This is a piece that will be in my wardrobe for like forever. I could pass this down to my children. I could resell it and still make good profit. Like, I'm so happy I found this. This was another piece I got for like summer vacation purposes because there's so much you can do with it, right? Like if you're like me, I like to wear a lot of like t-shirts with bikini bottoms when I'm on holiday and like, you know, tie it up, wear it with sunglasses. So that's basically why I got it. And you know, I could have gone for the basic black and white one or like the navy one, but I was like, you know what? If you're getting it for summer purposes, then really show out with the color. And this hot pink and um, bright yellow um, colorway is to die for. It screams vacation. It screams, I'm about to have a good time. So yeah, and I got it from a boutique called um, Tokyo Roses Vintage. Let me just double check. Yeah, Tokyo Roses Vintage, I had to double check. It's basically like an online boutique. They have an Instagram page as well. I'm so happy I got this um, and it's kind of sparked um, the urge to collect like loads of these t-shirts now which I don't know is a good idea for my bank account because this was a pretty penny don't get it twisted it's a t-shirt but this was a pretty penny but as I said there's so much like resale value for these type of tops um, and when I wore it like everybody was like oh my god where did you get that moving on but still keeping it in the t-shirt category I've been on like a t-shirt rampage I I basically got to a point in my wardrobe where I felt like all the t-shirts I had before kind of just lost their je ne sais quoi. Like they were just like quite outdated. Um, and one thing about me, I like to have really good um, fun t-shirts in my wardrobe all year round because they're just so easy to style around, right? Like if you want to wear a blazer, a bomber jacket, a biker jacket, jeans you know a skirt like one thing about me I love my graphic tees so I kind of did like a refresh of my graphic tees recently I went on Essence and I found this really fun um t-shirt <laughs> and it says trail of smoke and I love the typography it's very good quality it's from the brand um let me see if I can say it correctly one second Sia Arnica 
Sia Anika is a designer from Berlin. She does other pieces. She does shoes. She does haute couture. Um, but I just love her t-shirts. They're really cool. And I really like the trail of smoke phrase because I just feel like, yes, everywhere I go, I'm going to leave a freaking impression. Okay. And I'm a Leo fire sign and I just felt like this was so on brand, like trail of smoke, right? Yeah, you guys get it? Okay, cool. But yeah, um, I got this in a large, all of my t-shirts are like large and extra large. They need to be loose. Like I don't see the point of having a t-shirt um, that's meant to be baggy and it's not like baggy. So the next t-shirt is a Devastates t-shirt. If you don't know about Devastates, it's a really cool brand. They do a lot of graphic tees, graphic jumpers. It's a menswear brand, um, but I've always kind of kept my eye on it. And whenever I like shop around for my boyfriend, I always come across this brand. Um, and just one day I was like, let me just get something from there. It's really cool. The front says high tech, low life. And um, it just has this really cool graphic on the back. And I just thought it was like such a contradictory thing um, as a phrase on the front. And um, I really love the selection of fonts. If you know me, like you will know that I'm very into graphics and stuff, even down to, you know, what I put out for my own brand. I'm very particular about like typography graphics on clothing. So yeah, I just absolutely love this and it's, Honestly, like the perfect um, powdery pink is so cute. And um, I just basically got this because I knew that with my very like deep blue denims and black leather trousers, this would look really cool. I absolutely love this. And I also got this in a large as well. Next piece I'm gonna show you guys is a piece I got specifically for a trip to Iceland that I went on earlier this year. I really took that trip very serious because it's not every day you go to Iceland. But literally, if you ask my friends that I went with on the trip, I did the most, but I just had to like really not waste the opportunity, should I say. So yeah, I got this top because I wanted to style around it, a really cool outfit that I did end up shooting for content, so I'll put it up. I got this Alexandra Wang um, shirt, well, it's basically like a fitted top, right? Really nice knit, and it's got the classic Wang logo. And I styled this with um, some really cute um, Chanel white earmuffs. The outfit was insane, oh my gosh. You know when you pack for a trip and you're like, yeah, this look? No, what's the TikTok sound? Like, what is the TikTok sound where it's like, you know that one outfit you packed for your holiday? that you know is gonna hit. It was basically this outfit. And um, yeah, I styled this with some black ribbed leggings, my black moon boots, my earmuffs, and this um, really cool um, vinyl puff up. But yeah, I absolutely love this. Um, definitely something I'm gonna continue to wear in the colder seasons, because I just feel like this will continue to be a piece that is easily styled with um bomber jackets puffer jackets jeans leggings thermals you know boots oh. okay before we go into um jackets i forgot i actually had one more piece which is actually a cardigan when i saw this cardigan on asos i said marnie who like are you kidding this was actually in no, it wasn't in the men's section. What am I talking about? This was like in the women's section. And the reason why I'm saying that is because when you see pieces like this on ASOS, it's most probably in the men's section. I don't know what it is about ASOS doing like better menswear pieces. But anyways, I digress. I am obsessed. Are you seeing that brushed knit? Are you seeing? I'm not even a cardigan girl like that. I feel like I've got maybe one more card again and it's like a floral print, but this, oh, she's taking it. Oh, she's taking it. I feel like as a cardigan, you want it to really be a statement piece because cardigans personally are quite boring if they're just like the standard knit. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, mm -hmm, that's gonna be mine because there's so much I can do with it and it's gonna literally, be the moment, it's gonna be the star of the show. And the last jacket out of the collective haul is this jacket from Collusion, which is also on ASOS. It's this gorgeous 
black and blue kind of tie-dye long jacket that's also that's leather <sighs> now this jacket is the type of jacket you only bring out like on those occasions where it's a uh, it's gonna be an affair it's gonna be a time this jacket is insane personally it looks more expensive than it actually is it looks designer and I had the perfect outfit to style it with. I actually styled it with the Trail of Smoke t-shirt. I'll put a picture up when I had like a black bob. It was such a look. Um, and yeah, I'm just so excited to get more wear out of this jacket, honestly. But yeah, an absolute gorgeous piece. As I said, I'm really shopping for like those statement pieces in my wardrobe, you know, those pieces that are like, wow that is like sick right i want i don't want to be underwhelmed by my wardrobe right now <laughs> now we're going to move on to bottoms i've only got two um trousers to show you guys that i kind of felt were worth showing because i've been buying a lot of denim and stuff but um these two trousers i kind of felt like deserved a little shout out so the first one is this leather um wide leg pant from asos it's got this exposed stitch or the white stitch should i say it's um a really nice fit very baggy um and i've wanted something like this for a while i'm really into like the exposed contrast stitch at the moment and you know if i'm kind of tired of wearing jeans i always draw for this because they still make me feel comfortable they're still really fun to style around um, they're just something different. They're not just the standard leather pants. They have like really nice detailing to them and they fit as I said really nice So shout out ASOS for making really good leather pants. I must say Obsessed now sticking with the um, <laughs> Tradition of contrast stitch. I want to I want to shout out the True Religion fam for gifting me these pants. Well, I worked with them earlier this year and um, they um, allowed me to obviously like, keep the pieces that I picked out for our partnership. And I got the infamous, the infamous, iconic contrast stitch jeans with the True Religion logo on the back pocket everybody stand up and applaud <laughs> it's got the true religion logo on the um right back pocket and then it's got the bottoms it's got the pockets on the side of each leg and then it's still got the um, exposed stitch all the way down to the bottom i am obsessed they fit really good they're like a straight baggy ish fit um and they just elevate any outfit because you know you can go for the standard jean but when you go for the true religion jeans it just takes it to another it takes it to the next level right because like for example i feel like they will go really nice with this garni top actually now that i'm seeing it on the camera but yeah i also feel like this is something i'm going to keep in my wardrobe for a very long time and it has great resale value as well they're just such a classic um, pair of jeans to have, right? It's like when you have like your Lee jeans, your Levi jeans, like those brands, you're gonna keep in your wardrobe because they're just so timeless and iconic. You guys are in for a treat when it comes to the sunglasses I'm about to show you guys because I went in. I got these incredible bug eye sunglasses from Giant Vintage. If you guys know, I'm obsessed with Giant Vintage. They have so many sunglasses that are like on trend, unique, classic, vintage. They have everything you could possibly want to find. Um, and I saw the Acne Studio version of these sunglasses and then I was like, okay, cool. I can't spend that much money on those. So I'm gonna wait and see what dupes I can find. And lo and behold, Giant Vintage had the dupes. So I know they might not be everyone's cup of tea, but honey, let me tell you, I love a quirky um, pair of sunglasses. I love sunglasses that are a little bit weird, a little bit fun, because they can really take an outfit to the next level. And then we, we love a yellow lens in, in all, types of sunglass silhouettes but um 
in this style, they, for me, they take it. Like, are we being for real right now? So cool, right? I love them. I'm one of those type of people I have to buy like a designer piece if I'm going on holiday. It's so weird. I can't remember what they're called. I'll probably put it up or put it down below. But they speak for themselves. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, look at them. Absolutely gorgeous. I need to clean them. <laughs> but they're such a gorgeous silhouette. They frame the face perfectly you can't go wrong with a nice yellow tinted lens and these aren't like the most brightest yellow lens it's kind of got a burgundy brownie undertone i'm not mad at it so yeah and it goes really nicely with my brown hair i must say but yeah these were a designer purchase i got at the beginning of the year because i felt like you know i just needed a good pair for my um my travels and to continue growing my sunglass collection. I got some Rick Owen sunglasses. Funnily enough, I'd seen JT wear them when she came to London, but I think she got the silver reflective version. Um, but I, of course, got brown. Um, I don't know what it is about brown these days with me, but it's always been a color I really like. So yeah, I got these huge sunglasses. Um, definitely a statement sunglass like when you wear them you're gonna be seen you're gonna be noticed um I've worn them out a few times and yeah I also really love how they frame my face absolutely love these as I said um the top fours needed a friend so I think that's it for me in terms of the big sunglasses for now I don't think there's any other sunglasses that are really big on the market that I have my eyes on. I think I'm done with these two for now. I can't lie to you guys, that is it. My two sunglasses that cost a little pretty penny, but so, 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 so worth it. Um, now we're gonna get into shoes. So starting off strong, I got myself some very cute sandals from Stan Studios. They are, the cutest very pink sandals how cute and they've got a very sturdy sole if you are wondering I know sometimes when people see sandals like this they're like oh, that's for the house but trust me they've got the stand studio engraved on the sole I don't know if you guys can see that but um that's just a nice detail and the Fur, of course it's faux fur but it's so soft and nice so sturdy you don't slip and slide <laughs> like as I said the sole is very very strong and I'm obsessed with the color because I feel like if I'm doing like a white bikini top and jeans which is like just basic white denim you know tones this will elevate the look like crazy okay the next pair of shoes if you know me you know, I freaking love Ambush, the brand, and most importantly, I love Yoon, the creative director, owner of Ambush. So they're called the Ambush Air Adjust Force Low Top Trainers. Um, they're absolutely incredible. As you can see, I've basically showed you guys two versions, one with the sleeve and one without, just to show you how versatile they are. So essentially this sleeve can be taken off right and it's got this gorgeous like iridescent purple pink tone um or colorway should i say and then when you take it off it's just like the standard black and white so essentially you have two shoes in one like that i get so much wear out of them and I feel very special to have a pair of these because I freaking love Yoon and I feel like she's such a visionary, a really good designer and creative director and I feel like this for a very long time has been one of the best silhouettes that have come out of Nike because you know we've seen the Air Forces, we've seen the Air Maxes and I, I guess that was another reason why I really wanted these. So the next pair of Nikes deserve a moment of silence. Not 
only for the colorway, but for what it meant to the culture, to the people. Um, and I feel like if you know, you know, before I've even shown the shoe, I think you should know what Nike shoes they are. It's the Nike Times Cortese collaboration Air Maxes. I got the navy and pink colorway and I think it's just a perfect colorway for me personally because as I said pink I don't know what's going on more about the shoe let's get into the details the um the bubbles are pink and then you've got the Cortese logo embroidered on the toe here and then the tongue has the Cortese logo here and then it also has the um, Cortez logo here as well. There's like three different versions of the logo, which I think is really cool to have. To have this is more than just, you know, a little purchase. It's actually something that I'm really proud of to have in my wardrobe because of what it means. So yeah, we have finally gotten to the end of this video. And as I said, you know, is worth it to have gotten this far in the video. I got this bag as a treat to myself and to also remind me that I'm that girl and you know the tax bracket is different now. <laughs> Before I open it, if you don't know about Loire, I suggest you pause this video, go and look at their Instagram, go and look at their runways on Vogue.com just go and get clued up about Loire. So they call this the small Anna print bag, but it's basically cowhide print. But honestly guys, if I was a bag, I would be this bag. The handle itself is a piece of art. It's gorgeous. And then you've got the Loire in the um, silver metal. It also has a strap. So that's what these um, silver hooks are for. So I can wear it across body or I can just have it in my hand like this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's stunning. It is just incredible this is a work of art Loire is not a brand to be played with honestly like um sorry there's birds singing in the background i'm sorry if you can hear that but they also are in love with the bag and that's probably why they're singing outside so yeah i can't wait to style this you guys will be the first to see when i style this I actually know you just follow me on Instagram and TikTok probably. This is the last piece I'm showing you guys in my collective haul. It was worth the wait, wasn't it? Yes, I know. Check out Loire. Honestly, their bags are incredible. I have no words, which is probably a good thing that this was the last thing to show. So I can now easily segue to close the video. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my collective haul. I hope you guys liked all the pieces that I've showed you guys and have been inspired to be in more intentional with your pieces, to buy pieces that are showstoppers and to just raise the bar every time. I just feel like, yes, we can shop for basics. We can shop for those pieces that are easy to style around, but there's also joy in shopping for pieces that are iconic and could easily be in museums okay because fashion's meant to be fun right fashion's meant to be another layer of yourself and enable you to express yourself in ways um that you could only do with clothes please stay tuned and continue to show your girl love because i am actually really enjoying um filming again so yeah <sighs> have a wonderful evening night morning day whatever it is whenever you're watching this and i will see you in the next one bye